Leaders from some 60 NATO countries discussing a vision for post-2014 Afghanistan. Meanwhile, thousands of protesters upset with the war in Afghanistan taking to the streets of Chicago. Craig Boswell has more from the NATO summit. Leaders from about 60 countries begin the first day of a two-day NATO summit here in Chicago. The main topic is shifting NATO's military mission in Afghanistan from a combat role to an advisory one, and then how to pay for it. President Obama held a pre-summit meeting with Afghan President Hamid Karzai earlier this morning. The NATO summit uh, is going to be largely devoted to uh, ratifying and uh, reflecting the broad consensus uh, that we are working with the Afghans over the next uh, several years to uh, achieve a complete transition. Karzai says the transition means his country, in his words, is no longer a burden on the rest of the world. He also thanked Americans. Mr. President, I'm bringing to you and to the people of the United States the gratitude of the Afghan people for the support that your taxpayers' money has provided for Afghanistan over the past uh, decade. Meanwhile, a huge crowd of protesters streaming into downtown Chicago, one of the city's largest demonstrations in years. Among them, Reverend Jesse Jackson. We're now planning to expand more into Afghanistan, two to four billion dollars a week, while we are losing transit workers and teachers and police and firemen and closing schools. Yesterday, three activists were arrested for allegedly manufacturing Molotov cocktails in a plot to attack President Obama's campaign headquarters, as well as other targets. Today, two other men were taken into custody, one of them for falsely making a terrorist threat. Thousands of protesters were also fully testing the Chicago Police Department. In Chicago, Craig Boswell, Fox News. And to help control the crowd, Milwaukee Police Department is sending 100 officers to Chicago. They're there now. They left by bus yesterday. They're all part of the department's crowd management team. Milwaukee Police Chief Ed Flynn is in the Whitney City as well tonight. We spoke to him by phone. You'll hear from him later on. They are expected home on Tuesday. Meantime, Milwaukee.